Hi everyone, uh, in today's video, I will uh, show you some tips to solving tricky spherical triangles. Now, you must have seen my videos on uh, solving spherical triangles using cosine rule or uh, uh, the Napier's rules. But uh, today I'll take up a different kind of a right angle spherical triangle and I'll be using Napier's rule to solve it but the important thing here is that i'll give you some important tips to solve some spherical triangles which are a bit tricky and uh, i'll show you what i mean by tricky so spherical triangles or understanding how to solve it is uh, an important part of your understanding of uh, any kind of nautical mathematics or celestial navigation as you know that we use napier's triangles to solve questions related to grid circle sailing or composite grid circle sailing so without wasting much time let me get straight into the question and let me show you how right angle spherical triangles can become tricky in certain cases right so the question today's question is that uh, you have a spherical triangle x y z where angle x which is written in capital is 90 degrees the side x which is written in the smaller letter is 79 degrees 20 minutes and angle y again written in capital is 105 degrees 15 minutes uh, you have to find the value of the rest of the sides and angles all right so let's draw the triangle first and then let me show you how uh, there can be a confusion at times when we are solving such a triangle so this is the way i will draw it so you've got uh, x z and y let's write it this way all right and here this is 90 degrees this is a spherical triangle all right so of course the 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 triangle is drawn as arcs of great circles or arcs of uh, circles they are not drawn as straight lines this is not a normal triangle you you know it already and uh, what is given to us is now the side x is the side which is opposite to the angle x now when you write the side x make sure that you write it in a different way as how you would write the angle otherwise you will get confused that which is the angle and which is the side so i've written the side in a slightly different way and this is given as 79 degrees 20 minutes the angle y is given as 105 degrees and 15 minutes and what you do have to find is uh, side y again i've written it different from the angle y and side z which i've written it different from the angle z and of course you also have to find the angle z so you have to find three things because the three other three are given to you right so because this is a right angle spherical triangle i will be using my napier's rules to solve it uh, and then i'll show you what is the part which confuses students and this is something that not many people know uh, and that's why their answers don't match and they get confused so let's start with how you draw the spherical triangle or a right angle spherical triangle and then how you draw the napier's diagram for it so put the 90 degree angle outside i know that many of you must have seen my videos on napier's rules so maybe you are aware of all it so be patient uh, and just bear with me and then uh, put uh, the 90 degree angle outside the circle then put the sides next to the 90 degree angle now what are the sides which are next to the 90 degree angle it's uh, small z which is the side z and the side y right if you want to use x y and uh, z x in this case that's fine as well uh, you can do that as well all right and then uh, the angle opposite to the side z is the angle z so i will write it like this and the angle opposite to side y is y so i will write it as capital y and the only remaining uh, side is now 90 minus x all right so in we've got the napier's diagram done and in this we know angle y and we know side x all right uh, so let us first find the side y and this is where i'll show you uh, a slight uh, the tricky part of the napier's diagram so to solve y uh, let's start with forming a equation now as you know in napier's rules there are only two equations that sine of middle part equals tan of the adjacents or sine of middle part equals cos of the opposites so you have to involve the value that you don't know which is y in this case and the values that you do know so this is the equation you will form and then you form a mushroom like this so how you will write the equation is sine of y 
becomes the middle and the cos of the opposite so you can't use the adjacent rule here so cos of 90 minus y multiplied by cos of 90 minus x right so this is sine of middle part which is y equals cos of the opposites now as you know probably cos of 90 minus any angle is equal to sine of that angle so this equation becomes sine y equals sine capital Y multiplied by sine x all right the reason is cos of 90 minus theta let's say is equal to sine theta all right that's the equation that's why we have converted the right hand side from cos 90 minus y into sine y and, and cos 90 minus x into sine x so sine y is something that I don't know so I'll keep it on one side and uh, what I know is sine of 105 degree 15 minutes multiplied by sine of 79 degrees and 20 minutes so this will give you that sine y equals 0 0.948 116 take sine to the other side becomes sine inverse 0 0.948116 and if you press sine inverse in your calculator you will get the answer y equals 71 degrees 27.8 minutes now ordinarily this is what you would think is the answer and you would keep going and start solving the rest of the thing but this is the tricky part this is where the tricky part comes in this is not the answer all right because with spherical triangles you also have to see the corresponding angle value if it's a side or the corresponding side value if it's the angle because if the corresponding angle in this case is greater than 90 degrees your answer also has to be your side also has to be greater than 90 degrees that's the property of the spherical triangle so you see that uh, the value of angle y is equal to greater than 90 degrees therefore the value of side y should also be equal to 90 greater than 90 degrees not less than 90 degrees so in this case and this is the tricky part that you have to learn what you will do is to find the value of y you will subtract it from 180 degrees and then you get the answer 108 degrees 32.2 minutes this is the correct answer Alright, so although the way you solved it, you got the right answer and ordinarily if the value of angle Y was less than 90, that would be the right answer. But in this case, the value of angle Y is greater than 90 degrees as you can see. So therefore, the value of the side Y also has to be greater than 90. Alright, then let me proceed and get the other answer. Alright, so here we have sine. Now we'll go on and we'll try to find the other values as well so what i'll do is now i'll find uh, the value of uh, side z all right but i'll use the ones that i know to find the value of z i will not use the one the value of what i have just found out because uh, if there's an error in the answer then i don't want to carry those errors forward all right so i'm going to use the values that i know to find the value that I don't know. So in this case, uh, we have to involve these three values in an equation and form a mushroom. So of course the equation becomes sine of 90 minus y becomes the middle part equals tan of the edges and tan of z and tan of 90 minus x. Now remember to make sure to write the sides and angles different from one another so you can recognize it. Now sine of 90 minus any angle is equal to cos of that angle. So this becomes cos y. This is still tan of z multiplied by tan of 90 minus x. Now tan of z is what I have to find out. So I'll keep it on one side. And I will take the other value on the other side. So let me write it properly here. So cos of y divided by tan of 90 minus x right I have taken it here that's why so this becomes cos of y which is equal to 105 degrees and 15 minutes divided by tan of 
90 minus 79 degrees 20 minutes which is equal to 10 degrees and 40 minutes okay so you can find out 10 or 10 degrees and 40 minutes and you get the answer what you will get is uh, minus 1.396506 so this is tan of z Let's take tan to the other side so then you get tan inverse of negative 1.396506 and your z is 125 degrees 36.3 minutes so the value of uh, side z is 125 degrees 36.3 now because the value of side z is greater than 90 the value of side z is greater than 90 that means now you know your value of angle z when you find out should also be greater than 90 if it is not greater than 90 then you have to do what you did before you have to subtract it from 180 to get the value so let's see let's find out the value of angle z and see whether we get a value of greater than 90 or not because it has to be greater than 90 since the corresponding side is greater than 90 right so i will use a different color pen this time or i'll use uh, black again or i'll use red this time all right so i have to find z and i have to form an equation which involves all three so it forms a mushroom shape so again this equation becomes sine of 90 minus x equals tan of 90 minus y multiplied by tan of 90 minus z All right. so if you go back up you can see how i've made this the middle part sine 90 minus x is the middle part and then tan of the adjacents tan 90 minus y and tan 90 minus z then you come back here this becomes cos of x and these two remain the same so tan of 90 minus y and tan of 90 minus z now because i have to find z i'll keep this on one side take this to the other so this becomes tan of 90 minus z equals cos of x divided by tan of 90 minus 105 degrees 15 minutes and of course i know x as well x is 79 degrees and 20 minutes right so then you get is tan of 90 minus z equals minus 0 0.678920 take tan to the other side so 90 minus z gives you a tan inverse of the value negative 0 0.678920 or 90 minus z is equal to negative 34 degrees 10.4 minutes so take z to the other side make it positive and then this comes here so z equals 90 degrees plus 34 degrees 10.4 minutes which is equal to 1 to 4 degrees 10.4 minutes okay so uh, we are almost done so you can see that the value of side z was greater than 90 degrees correct and therefore the value of angle z is also greater than 90 degrees so you know that you don't have to subtract it from 180 or the other both are more than 90 degrees that means they are the correct value that's how you know that you have solved the tricky right angle spherical triangle correctly so this was a trick that i have never discussed before in any of my previous videos on napier's rules and that's why i thought this is will be very useful for you guys especially for all the exclusive members of steering mariners every time i put up a video this is what i'm going to try to do i'm going to give you some tips and tricks to uh, help with your studies which i have not discussed in any of my previous videos so thanks for watching guys and let me know what you thought about these videos and uh, bye